Whether you are a photographer learning to edit video or you are someone who is looking for an easier way to color grade, having Lightroom light controls in Final Cut Pro for color grading could be exactly what you need. If you've ever worked in Lightroom, you are probably familiar with the slider interface where you can change the white balance, exposure, contrast, highlight, shadows, and even the hue, saturation, and luminance values for a range of different colors. If you are familiar with this as a photographer, or you're not super comfortable with color grading, then having these sliders in Final Cut Pro will be really useful to you. In the Lightroom Controls bundle, you get three different effects, the basic controls, HSL sliders, and camera calibration. And in this video, I'm going to show you how they work. A big thank you to Eric Lenz, who is the sponsor of this video and the creator of this bundle of plugins. He has also allowed me to give away the Lightroom Controls bundle to three of you guys. So stay tuned to find out how to enter. Let's start with this shot of a bamboo forest and I'll add the basic controls effect so that we can make a couple of basic adjustments. I'll start by adding some contrast, something about there, nice and contrasty will do. And I'm going to add some vibrance and saturation now so that we can see what the colors look like. Vibrance basically boosts the saturation of colors that aren't already too saturated and it also protects skin tones if you have skin tones in your image and saturation just saturates every pixel. So I think somewhere around there should be good just so that we can see what colors we're working with. And I'm going to boost the shadows so we don't lose too much detail in the darker areas but I am going to drop the blacks because I want the really, really dark areas to just be nice and black. Something there, that looks pretty good. Next, I'll just boost these whites a little bit and then I want to soften the roll off on these highlights that I've blown out here. So I'll drop that down just a little bit and that softens it quite nicely. In fact, I might actually adjust the temperature here just to cool it down slightly and I'll make it a little bit more green so it looks like we're deep in the forest. I think that looks pretty cool. That's what we started with and that's what we've got now. Next, I'll add the HSL effect so that I can make some adjustments to specific colors. Now, instead of having to scroll up and down because there are lots of sliders here, I can double click at the top of the inspector window and that will maximize this window here on the right hand side. And if you take a closer look at the screen, you can see that there's quite a bit of yellow in the screen. So it kind of has this yellowy green look to it. So I'm going to change the yellows, the hue on the yellows if I do that, you can see how it changes the look of the green bamboo here. So what I'm going to do is make that a little bit more green, just to emphasize that green a bit. And then the green in these leaves on the top here, I can affect with this green slider. If I drag it all the way this way, you can see how they go a little bit orange and they can go really super green if I go this way. So I'm going to just boost the green slightly. So we've got this nice green deep in the forest kind of vibe going on. Next, I want to change the color of these just a little bit so I can drag this orange slider and you see that makes it a little bit more red. And if I go this way, I go a bit more green. So I want to contrast between the green bamboo we've got here already. So I'll just drop this a little bit to make it a bit more red. That's it for the hue section. In terms of saturation, I'm going to go to my yellow and I'm going to saturate that a little bit more just to make these greens and the yellow in these greens pop. And lastly, to make these scratches on the writing pop a bit more, I can boost the luminance of the yellow. You can see if I do that, what it does, it just makes them pop a little bit more. So here it is before we added the HSL adjustments, and here it is after the HSL adjustments. Let's quickly grade another clip, but this time, instead of starting with the basic controls or the HSL as you might be tempted to do, I'm going to start by adding the camera calibration effect. The camera calibration section in Lightroom is meant for micro adjustments to how the raw image processor interprets colors and it can be a great way to create a look, style or vibe for a particular image. Because the camera calibration effect affects how the different colors are interpreted, I thought it would help to explain how it works on a technical level compared to the HSL effect. For example, if we take the red of the HSL effect and we change that, you can see how it affects the red portion of the image. In the same way, if we take the yellow, it affects the yellow in the image. Now I'm gonna turn that off because that's not how the camera calibration works. If you change blue, it affects every pixel in the image, not just the blue pixels. So if I change my blue primary here, you can see how all the other colors shift as well. 
And if I change my green primary, you can see that all the colors are affected at the same time. In Lightroom, the tab is near the bottom, but any changes you make here are essentially applied first in the chain of adjustments. So if you're going to make some camera calibration tweaks, you'll want to do that first. So that's why it's the first effect I'm going to apply to this clip. When working with the camera calibration effect, I find that I get the best results when I adjust the blue primary. So I'm just going to drop the blue primary over here and I'm going to boost the blue saturation. And already you can see we've got a little look that we're working with here. Let's add our basic controls and some HSL controls and grade the shot. I'll start by bumping up the vibrance and the saturation, just so again so I can see what colors I'm working with. We have a nice teal and orange vibe going on here. That's partly due to changing the blue primary values. And let's go ahead and drop these blacks a little bit so we can get some really dark blacks in these areas. And I'm going to boost the shadows so we don't lose too much detail in the darker areas. I'll probably boost the shadows a little bit more. I'll boost the whites and I'll boost the highlights a little bit so we've got a nice bright sky. Let's have a quick look at the progress so far. That was the shot at the beginning. This was after some camera calibration and this is after we've made some changes to the basic controls. Now let's take a look at the HSL controls and make some adjustments here. In these lights you can see that they're quite red. I'd like them to be more orange and warm, not so hot. So let's take the red slider and if I adjust it here you can see how we go from purple to green. So I kind of want to push this more towards orange, I think somewhere around there should do. And I'm also going to change the saturation here. Saturate it nicely and I'm going to boost the luminance so it's nice and bright. We get this nice sort of glowing effect in the windows. If I turn that off and back on again, you can see the difference that that makes to those lights. Next, I'll come and boost the saturation of the blue. If you have a look at my scopes, you can see how it's pushing some more blue into the shot. And then I'm going to use the magenta slider to just bring out the color of these sort of purpley red roofs a little bit. We'll bring that up. If I do this, you can see how it's adjusting the roof there. So let's just bring it up to somewhere around there. One more time, this is the original shot. This is what we did with the camera calibration. Then we made some adjustments to the basic controls and then we made some changes to the HSL controls to finish up the color grade on the shot. As you can see, it's quick and easy to color grade using these Lightroom controls in Final Cut Pro. If you want to stand a chance to win this bundle of effects for yourself, please check out the giveaway link below to enter. I'll also leave a link below if you'd like to purchase the Lightroom Controls Bundle. And if you use the coupon code BRADDONNA at checkout, you'll get 10% off your purchase. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll catch you in the next one.